This is the step-by-step -step guide for causal models or psychological causal models. So the first step that you need to go through in order to design a causal model is to choose the appropriate variables for the model. Now, for the assignment, you will have a complex model and a simple model. A simple model is a shorter version of the complex model, so let's explain the complex model. So choose variables. You choose the variables based on reading literature and um, finding the problem that you want to um, choose for your uh, research report. And you need to make sure that the model is a psychological model. So in a psychological model, you expect psychological variables. Not all of them have to be psychological, uh, but at least one should be, and preferably two of these variables should be psychological. What is a psychological variable? Well, psychological variables are variables that deal with behaviors, with subjective experience, with mental health, or with mental structures, mental processes. So it's a very broad range of topics that is included within uh, psychology. Okay, so this is one important point. The other important point is that the models, the variables in the models, the, the causal variables have to be what I call causal agents. So you cannot uh, have a variable that is not actually causing, producing the action. So for example, if your causal variable is intelligence and then you are assuming that intelligence affects age, well, that's actually not, not a plausible model because a change in intelligence cannot produce a change in age. So there is no possibility in this model. It's not possible that intelligence causes age. Now, another one that is a bit uh, tricky, but uh, preferably you should avoid, is the opposite here. So you say that age causes intelligence or even knowledge. Because you say, okay, if we uh, change the age, so we instead of uh, dealing with children, we are dealing with adults, then the knowledge increases as age increases. But is age the causal agent? Is age what is producing the knowledge? No. What's producing the knowledge is the studying, the reading books. So sometimes we can allow variables like age, culture, or gender as causal variables, but preferably don't use them use variables that are actually producing the effect. Age could be a proxy for reading, for example. The more you read, the more you, you're higher uh, your age, then the more you read. So it could be a proxy. But we try to do use variables that are as close as possible to the phenomenon we want to capture. So, the step two is to uh, draw the model. And let's start with the complex model. So the complex model has to have two variables, one variable, two variables that are causal variables, and one variable that is the consequence. So basically, it has to have this structure. Okay, so let's say um, intelligence and study hours they both cause academic achievement
Okay, so is this psychological? Well, intelligence is a psychological variable. Studying is a behavior. And academic achievement is also a sort of behavior. So it's perfectly okay. So for the model, for a complex, the complex model in your assignment, that's all you need for the complex model. Two variables that are causal, one variable that is the consequence, and two arrows. One for the first variable to the causal ver to the first causal variable to the consequence variable, and the other one from the second causal variable to the consequence variable. That's it. Now this model is saying other things by what is not there is saying a lot so it's saying that study hours don't, don't don't cause intelligence and intelligence doesn't cause study hours they are not related we are not establishing a causal link there and we are saying that there is nothing else that is causing academic achievement if there is something else that we don't know we add this u as an unknown variable that may cause academic achievement. And you may also cause study hours and intelligence. Now, for the purpose of the assignment, we are not going to use the U as a, as a representation of unknown variables. So we just, um, we just delete this. We are not using that for the assignment. Okay, so now this is your complex model. Uh, the simple model that you have to develop, it is, you have to have the academic achievement variable. And one of these two, perhaps study hours only. And that's it. So remember, you can make more complex models. Um, you can uh, typically use the U as unknown variables that are um, affecting the consequence variable or even the causal variable. But for the purpose of the assignment, we just use these structures. So you have to produce the complex model and the sim simple model. So in the simple model, you are saying that study hours affect academic achievement and nothing else and in the complex model you are saying that study hours and intelligence both have a causal effect on academic achievement and you are going to analyze the data to compare these two models.